Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today is Thursday, it's Thursday, Sam. Sam, why are you home on Thursday? Truck's dead. Yeah, we had to get the truck fixed. Um, it did not break down or anything like that, but you have to perform uh, regular maintenance stuff on trucks, especially when they are towing our precious cargo, like our horses. We always wanna be prepared, make sure that no, no bad thing happens before it happens. If you've been watching for any length of time, you guys know our truck broke down, our trailer broke in the middle of transporting our horses one time. That was a crazy day, but it all worked out fine. We figured that out. Anyway, I got Gabby and Sophie in the back. They both are wearing their winter coats. What are we doing, Gabby? Riding. Riding, what are we doing, Sophie? I'm sure not right now, here. but I will be slept. It's kind of going Riding. on. Let's just put it into perspective for you guys. Today is Thursday. We have to ride our horses because we haven't ridden them since Monday. I think, yeah, we haven't ridden them since Monday and today's Thursday, I feel really bad for them. So, we're going to ride our horses and then we're having lessons, but we're not having lessons on our horses today. Nope, we're doing something completely different. This is another exciting, fun thing that the girls and I planned for this week. So I'll explain a little bit later. So there are no horses at the hay bale today. It rained all day yesterday, you guys. So now that they have friends, they don't just hang around. Now that their friends are here, they they go out and have a good day. They have so much fun. Like that's the thing. Horses love have being in a herd. I heard a horse calling. Good or bad, like the good and the bad. Lots Vinny. of sli slide marks in the mud. I heard a horse whinny. So oh, there they are. There they are. Gabby sees them. It's Chino and Oakley. Chino and Oakley. Texan Oakley. Oh, Texan Oakley. Oh, Texan Oakley. You obviously can't see. I obviously only see. Oh yeah, I see them now. They're dark boys. Uh oh. Did they not accept you into the yeah. herd? Ben. Maybe our boys are over with the other herd. Dark. Oh, Texas coming. What? He's like, there's a kid. Must be mine. Oh. Do you know where our horses are, Tex? You've been rolling. I don't feel like our horses roll here. Horse personalities are so funny. Like Tex has this really fun personality. We He's just in like their a and we let's go out and have fun kind of guy. We just walk right by them. Hmm. Our horses are gone. Yeah, I was like, I like routine. I like to do my own thing. Who said that? Oh, Tex is calling them for us. I think that was Oakley. Oh, they yeah, sound sound like Tex. They're coming with us. As long as he's not calling the whole herd, I'm okay with it. Oh, good golly. We should have peed before we came, I Sophie. I bet you they're with the herd. You want me to tell you my clue? Tex is coming. He's like, wait for me. Pick me instead. Oh my gosh, look at him go. He's just booking it. Oh, you found the clue that they were probably with the herd was that these guys aren't with them. Oh, they could have heard us. They heard us. They're like, don't go. Don't go. Oh my gosh. Our horses are crazy. They're like, oh my gosh. Look at them. Can't believe that. They're like, you haven't come to see me for two days, so I am not coming to you. That's so funny. Oakley's talking to the other horses. They're not even budging today. Uh oh, we gotta get out of here. I hear other horses coming. Run. I thought you were riding Storm first. Chino first. Chino first? Chino has both shoes. Good. Did Storm? Yeah. Chino's tame. Oh, no. Mane has been tamed to the right. So we have lessons today. We have lessons today, lessons tomorrow, show Saturday. It's just gonna be insanity. And then we also have another show at the end of October. We have Sophie's birthday party. Sophie. Like, huh? it's gonna be crazy. It's just so getting ride. crazy. He used to be a light color, remember? He gets what? He gets yeah, he had sun bleach, but he's turning dark now. Just his butt cheeks are are light. Sophie and I are having a, ra a race to the bathroom. <laughs> no. <I> go. <laughs> I'm letting her go first. So we went, Sophie had all these tests when she was little. Remember I told you she was really sick? And she has 
Size yeah, she has she, she has a size her bladder is the size of a baby. She just has a really tiny bladder. I feel like I have a really big bladder because I can hold it for so long. Also, Gabby, remind me that our treats and our crop is in the car. I want to take it out and put it in our locker. Yeah. Oh, we need the light. Ooh, it stinks in here. What is that smell? Our locker stinks. Why does it stink? Might be the treats. I'll bring her for you. So Sam put more hooks. He put two more hooks for Kaylee. He put hooks for yeah, us. Why does it stink? I don't know. Could it be that towel? I don't think so. This is just mud. Nope, not this. I think it's this. Oh, I think it's this. I think it's the bucket. No, it's this. No, smell the bucket. The bucket smells fine. It's that. It's those treats. It smells sweet and... This one smells like cinnamon. It's the this. Ugh, it smells gross. Our am telling ya. Something it suspicious at the like new moldy. barn. Something suspicious at the new barn in our locker. Title, <laughs> yeah. You know, putting titles on blogs, especially when you do it every day. Oh, how clean it looks though. It's so hard, except if you drop the towel on the ground. Right. So, uh, yeah, like it's hard. So every time you're like in the middle yeah, of the vlog and, you, and you're thinking of like, oh, well, that would be such a good title. Like just in case you don't have one. So Gabby, get in here and let's do it. Let's do a thumbnail for a suspicious, something suspicious at the new barn. Come on, get in here. Let's do a suspicious thumbnail. Okay. <laughs> That's how it works. Like you guys gotta, you guys gotta figure out how to do it. Like it's hard. YouTube is hard. You have to, yeah. You gotta have the titles. You gotta have the thumbnails. Like it's so hard, especially for us, because we don't usually like pose for thumbnails, and we don't usually like try and figure out a title in the middle of the day. So uh, trying to figure it out after I edit is so hard. It's just so hard. I know some people get frustrated with our titles, but for the most part, we're just flying by the seat of our pants. Ooh, the bathroom is heated. I love what we get to look at. When you pee, you get to look at all these beautiful pictures. Gabby, what's your plan for the horses today? I'm riding Chino, because I need show prep, kind of. And then I'm riding Storm on the trails. Right, so Storm, how many times has Storm ridden on the trail? Uh, one with so me and it mom. was not his best ride so best ride. yeah so she wants to give him she like a reward the same bits though they're just really dirty yeah well, we got to bring oh, everything like, home clean and clean it yeah all right let's go but let's get moving the same size too they're both five inches all know that I believe that God talks to you through your dream that you dream what's gonna happen what your plan is what what's supposed to happen in your future and then I apologize. and that as time goes on when you start to fulfill those things that you have planned that you have been dreaming about you you re you remember them through deja vu so um, I was so I uh, hate that cookie died like I wasn't expecting it I didn't dream it I didn't think anything like that was gonna happen it was such a shock sometimes it feels like when it's a shock it's the worst I'd rather know that something is gonna come anyways when cookie died I it was devastating but then I was outside with the puppy with the Dalmatian puppy the other day and we were on the grass and I had this huge deja vu and I remembered that I have dreamed about this puppy in the past so when you have a deja vu, you're actually catching a little glimpse of your dream. So you dream it and sometimes you're in a deep sleep, sometimes you're not in a deep sleep. I'm never in a deep sleep, so when I dream, I remember a lot of parts of my dreams. So when I get a deja vu, I can see a huge, like you know how deja vus are usually just a tiny snippet, you just get like this weird feeling. For me, a deja vu kind of goes right back into the dream that I had. And even though I didn't ever remember dreaming about this little puppy, I had a big huge deja vu and it took me right back to the whole experience where we were going to get this puppy. So long before Daisy was meant for us, long before we planned to get Daisy, it seemed like it was a spur of the moment whim, but long before we got her, thought of her, even thought we would get a Dalmatian, she was planned for us. She was completely planned for us and it was just one thing that worked out in our destiny and we brought her home like it's just crazy how god works and it's amazing and knowing that she was meant for us makes things so much more amazing knowing like it's almost like i don't know it's a dream fulfilled i guess 
So, I dream that I slip and fall on the ground in like a puddle. So, my heart and my body jump six feet off my bed. Did it? Oh, that's And then happened. I wake up like almost every night. <laughs> that happens to me. And I'm like, what the heck? That happens to me too. And I feel like I actually fell. Yeah, it's weird. Sometimes you do that and you dream you're peeing and then you wake up and you pee. <laughs> Not you. Everybody does that, Sophie. Not just you. <laughs> you don't? You think you snore? What? Gabby, you're admitting something not perfect. What? I'm just a heavy sleeper, so I don't know. Gabby is a heavy sleeper. I know sometimes I do. Yeah, occasionally I snore too if I'm on my back and it's just a weird thing. But it's not like snoring like dad who could wake I the snore. dead. Uh, dad yes. Does, dad does not wake me. No, he wakes me. He wakes me. Um, Sophie does snore. She snored ever since she was a baby, which is part of the problem. Okay, well, hurry up. Get, get going. We can't just sit here and chat all day. Even though so many things happen each day that I just always want to sit down and talk to you and share with you guys. We never have time in our videos. Like when we went on the trail ride, you guys, I galloped. Gabby doesn't believe it. She was far at the back. Her and Kaylee were fooling around with their horses. They were like doing other stuff. So what happened? I'm going to tell you. Like I actually galloped and it was terrifying but fun. So what happened was we were at the front. I was following the, the little girl, Addison. And all of a sudden her horse went into a gallop. And then my horse was like, well, I'm coming too. So what happened was we were going along. We were cantering, cantering, cantering. And then all of a sudden I felt her like stretch right out. And she started going so much more powerful and so much faster. And not only that, she was like, you can't beat me, Addison, whoever Addison was riding. She ran up alongside and started racing the horse in front of me. And then, boyfriend. yeah, and then I was like, holy crap, like this is kind of fast. And then I screamed, I think you're going too fast. And then I pulled her back and stopped her. But yeah, like it was scary for a few seconds, but amazing. Like Gabby still doesn't believe it happened. She's like, you just did an extended canter, but it was a gallop. Addison galloped, I galloped. Sophie galloped. We were at the front. The girls at the back lost out. We also figured out this is okay. This is huge. This is the last thing I'm going to talk about because I feel bad when our videos are all talking. But the other thing that we figured out is that Sophie was hating her ride at the back because she was back in front of Gabby and Kaylee and they were screaming at her, keep going, go faster, stop walking. And then and she just was having the worst ride. And then I said, Sophie, get up here in front of me. And Sophie came up and she was second in line. And the minute she got in second, she found her place. Like that was her place in our in our lineup. That was her place. And that's she started cantering, she started jumping, she started doing all the galloping she started doing all the things that i was doing and she just needed to find her place her place was not at the back of the line where she didn't feel confident her place was not at the back where gabby and kaylee were screaming at her the whole time or me when we went last time her place is second in command and that's why i always want to tell you guys find no, your place keep keep going and find your place like sophie i mean it can be just as simple as moving up a couple of spots or moving back a couple of spots just keep trying sophie is never looked back when she got into the right place for her and the same thing can happen to you oh, no. i never trained him storm normally does that gabby just walked in the door just walking forward and in behind her walks her horse just calm and collected he just walks himself right in he's excited i love that color on him I used to think I had plenty of dreams and light in my life. So my glass was half empty, but you came along and showed me how to love with our limits, to have a good time. My glass was always half empty. question for you guys what do you prefer do you prefer a light saddle on a dark horse a dark saddle on a dark horse or the reverse a dark saddle on a light horse or a light saddle on a light horse comment below I'm gonna wait before I tell you what I like better what do you like better Gabby what do you like better yeah that's me yeah I love a dark saddle on a dark horse and a light saddle on a light horse Guess who you're showing against today to on Saturday? No 
Guess who your competition is? No. Nope. Yeah. Brandon. <laughs> no, you're gonna. He taught you. He taught you everything he knows. You gotta show him. You gotta beat Brandon. Brandon Brand's probably been riding longer than her. Been yeah. Riding, I'll ask him. You could never wear me out, even after all. Gabby and Chino are trying to figure out the arena. She finds it too small for him because he's such a big horse. So we're gonna have to get our trainers to help us figure out. All he has to do is ride collected more, right? No. Just to really shorten his step. Yeah, he has to really too shorten too his step. It's too hard for him in there. So uh, we ended up, Gabby spent a long time riding Finn because she never gets a chance and she had to take to advantage. Higher, but we were landing it and turning it, so I didn't do that. But it's good for him to learn to land, oh, like he's got, turn here. He's got burrs in his nose. He's got boogers in his nose. No, you gotta get that off. You get that off. Boogers. No, feel it. No, I'm not feeling it. Oh no. He's letting me do it. Horses know, like they are like, it's okay. A burr, yeah. It's like humans. Yeah, it's okay. I'm not afraid to pick your nose, Chino. I'm not scared, it's just gross. Who cares? You gotta do it for your horse. I don't think they have There you go. Anyway, we ran out of time. Like, we're gonna be late for our next appointment, so we have to come back. Yeah, so you're gonna have to come back and ride Storm in the morning. Who are you listening on? You're, you're gonna have to listen on Chino because they have like, no, I have to listen on him because I'm doing the derby. You're doing the derby on both of them? No, I'm in Chino. Oh. We are at our second place for the day and we are all lined up to go in the outhouse. Who recognizes the outhouse? Um, uh, we, uh, before it gets cold and before winter happens, my girls have been missing all their rides at our old barn and we decided to come back and, big. and have a lesson and they're going to get to choose to ride their favorite ponies. So they're riding their favorite ponies. I'm going to introduce you to their favorite ponies at this farm. I get to ride a fat one. After we pee. What? I get to ride a fat one. She gets to ride a fat one. All right. Are you riding a fat one or a skinny one? Um... There's the problem. She's skinny everywhere else except for her stomach's like pregnant. So she looks pregnant, but she's not. All right, you guys, can you guess who she's riding? She gave it away with the her. We are headed with this chubby boy. You thought Finny was chubby. Gabby's already almost ready, so it looks like Gabby's gonna have her lesson first. All right, Sophie, tell me what horse you're riding. I'm riding Sparky, and he's a Sparky. You guys might remember Sophie rode him at camp last year and looked like a professional, like she was doing at camp what she's doing this year. So this is how this barn has done everything. They've hooked up all the grooming stations. So these are the grooming stations. So nobody is, like just walks around touching everything. You can just touch what you touch and then you're responsible for cleaning it. It's got stuff here and you spray everything down after you've used it. 
He's like, you better have rat treats. Same thing here. So this is tack two. Please sweep area and clean up all belongings after use. They've got cleaner. They've got all the stuff. They got the saddle racks. Ooh, who are you riding, Gabby? She does not look that fat. She's lost some weight. She's lost a little bit of weight. She's like, oh gosh. Here we go again. You thought you had an extra couple hours to to all the camp or to all the regular kids get here, Lily. But in reality, look at your eyes wet. Hi. Hi. Alright, we're headed in. So Gabby's in love with the cat here. He Apparently so is Lily. Lily. After your ride, you have to spray everything down that you touch. The girth, everything. The bridle. Not the bit. Not the bit. Okay, come on, let's go. She's a little nervous because she hasn't ridden him in a long time. But he's got the nice kind of shape that I like. Gabby, did you like riding her? Did you like riding her? Yeah. Oh, good job. Don't forget to, uh, we got a sweep. All right, we got home. It's sort of raining. It's been raining. Like, the girls had their lesson. It was all right. I thought it was all right. Did you like your lesson? Yeah, it was pretty good. Um, and See, Lily, when she starts jumping, she gets faster. And yeah. she goes, and then you have to just sit up and push for longs. And say, stop. No, Chill. So this is what Gabby does during the day. This is this is Gabby on top of the camera. Hey guys, I'm just standing here, moving around a little. And this is Gabby below the camera with the dog that's like, I can't do anything, I have to play. But basically we've been gone She's like- stronger than me now. Yeah, and we've she been- She weighs 30 pounds. We've been gone for half the day and now we have to go out again. I feel bad all the time when our dogs are stuck in a crate. <laughs> Oh, and doesn't care. She has a hoodie on because she doesn't like the wetness. Yeah, she's such a, a wussy. <laughs> oh, I saw she's still crying. Even though Before yeah. I met Molly, I saw a video of like dog trainers and they're like, you're never supposed to let your dog win tug of war, but let me show you what happens when they do it because then they think that they're the boss of you. Get him on. Oh, wait, she doesn't do it now. Oh, there we go. And then I lose again. It's and she just wants to do it more. Okay, so it's true. It's Daisy, like the boss Daisy got yeah. wet. Poor Daisy. She's a storm. She's still crying. She's still crying and like freaking out. Oh, well, she no. doesn't look like she's freaking out, but she's like whining inside there and shaking because she got a little bit wet when she went out to pee. Oh, no. She That's, ran up. Oh, did you guys hear? She went, uh. Hear? Can you guys hear? Listen. Can you guys hear it? That's what she does. Like she got wet, and now Can she's I so upset. Up? Like, oh, well, you look like me. She's not even shaving no, anymore. No, like, like that. That's pretty. Yeah, that's Maybe. cute. <laughs> but why do you care about your hair? Oh, it's, it's attached to just my care, leg. Just care about me. Um. Anyways, Gabby got this outfit yesterday, not She'll the go jeans. To anybody who's new. But these are. This is her her I got, sweater. I got this shirt. Where'd you get this? Got matching. Yeah. It's from American Eagle. We got it on sale. It was only twenty dollars. And then we love this guy there. Like he was on the like the door job of telling people what to do when they go in. And he's like, so anything that you're looking for? And we're like, yeah, we're looking for fall knit sweaters. And he's like, oh my god, I just stocked them today. <laughs> he's like, okay, so there's some really good ones over there, and my personal favorites over there, and I love them. Like Kaylee and I loved them. Um, so Best what friend, did please? did you get it in the, his personal favorites or in uh, the? No. Oh. All right. So anyway, she's got her new sweater on. We she's got Daisy's her new got sweater her. on. She's got her sweater on because she's still it. over here crying. She's still crying because she she's got not wet. even shaking anymore. Literally, the last couple of nights have just been chaotic. We've been like running in the nighttime, Where doing all this saying? stuff. Like we have to go again. Poor Molly's gonna have to go in the crate. I told you Sam took his car to the dealership. It cost two thousand dollars. Yeah, that was a shock. I said, didn't you even ask them how much it was gonna cost? No, he just didn't ask them. And yeah, it was two thousand dollars. So we're headed out. He's gonna pick up his truck and pick up something for me that I ordered for Jacob's birthday. And yeah, so we're headed out. As soon as Gabby's coming, we're gonna go get Kaylee and do something fun, but that is it for this video. Otherwise, we're just not gonna have any more room. They're like, don't leave me. Like these are, these are YouTube dogs. So when I'm vlogging, they were just sitting there so quiet, calm, watching me. <laughs> and then as soon as I put the again. camera down, as soon as I put the camera down, they got all excited and they're like, okay, go out for another run, go. They're gonna get so cute. Yeah. They're going down to the barn. They're like, let's go down to the barn. Anyway, that is it for today. We're gonna go get Kaylee and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Look at this cutie bow.
thumbs up this video for cute for cuteness overload. She doesn't like getting wet though. Yeah. Look at her one blue eyeball. Yeah. Last thing. Last thing I have to tell oh, you. Oh. Um. Shut up my ears. Is Molly Daisy has her new Daisy has her own Instagram now. It's called Daisy. The one, the blue. -eyed. Daisy blue eyed. Daisy the blue eyed. Dalmatian. Daisy the blue eyed Dalmatian. Daisy blue eyed Dalmatian. Daisy. Yeah. Remember one that has Daisy the blue eyed Dalmatian. Yeah, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Good luck. Anyway, the only thing I wanted to say was that I told you guys how crazy this dog is. Like how she's so calm and so polite and so like she would never jump on anybody. And I looked it up the other day and it said that Dalmatians are very gentlemanly. Like they're always polite, always well behaved. Like they're very serious about being nice, being nice. And that's exactly that's what she, she is. So you. quiet, so quiet and calm, but a, a whip. Anyway, we'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> a win. Don't you know that you're beautiful?